Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. So if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's say you're to take part in a race and you have many obstacles. Obviously, you'll take time to finish because you have to dodge all of them. But if it were an obstacle-free track, you'd naturally reach the end point much faster. This is exactly what happens to light as well. All matter around us exists in either solid state, liquid state or in gaseous state. And all matter is made up of smaller particles called molecules. In solid state, the molecules are closely packed with each other and therefore the solids are more dense and strong. In liquid state, they are relatively loosely packed which allows liquids to flow. But in case of gases, the molecules are absolutely free and have lots of spaces between them. Now what happens in transparent solids is light has to travel through this molecular obstacle course. It takes time to dodge all the molecules and finally come out from the other direction. Note that the speed of light does not decrease, it just takes time to dodge the molecules. In case of liquids, it has to dodge relatively less molecules. And in case of gas, it travels the fastest, much like our obstacle free course. Now since the travel time of light is different across different mediums, when light travels from one transparent medium to another, it bends. And this bending of light is what we call refraction. And this only happens when the light hits the medium at an angle. Let's understand this with an experiment. All you need is some water, a glass and a pen or a pencil. Fill the glass with water and put the pen inside. And now observe this. You see, it appears as if the pen has bent while travelling from air to water. There is a break right here in the middle. And this happens because of the bending of light. In fact, here's another cool experiment that you can do to show refraction. The link is up here. What happens here is that the light travels from the arrows through air to the glass into the water and then back through the glass to air and enters our eye. In this course, the light bends so many times that the light rays just bend past each other and the image ends up getting flipped. Let me know in the comments below if you perform this experiment at home. In fact, refraction doesn't only let you flip images but also vanish objects. This is one of our old videos where we tried to use refraction to vanish glass. The link is up here. What happens here is even though oil is a liquid, it is thicker and therefore light takes the same amount of time to travel through the glass and the oil. As a result, it hardly bends and creates this amazing illusion. If you try these experiments out or have any doubts, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next week.